Hey guys, welcome to My Soul Bliss. Today I'm super excited to be partnering with Baby Lock Sewing Machines and sharing with you a few tips and tricks when using your sewing machines. Today I'm going to be using the Baby Lock Vibrant and that is this serger right here and that is part of their Genuine Collection. It is the serger in the Genuine Collection and I have fallen in love with this serger. It is a great beginner serger. Um, so if you've never used a serger before, I am gonna walk you through all of the tips and tricks and how you can use it best. I love using a serger, especially when working with knits, which is what I'm gonna be working with today. So today I'm gonna show you how to insert cuffs. Cuffs can be really tricky, um, but a lot of times, especially when you're sewing children's clothing, um, and knitwear, it's going to be necessary to sew in a cuff. And because kid sizes can range from a preemie all the way up to an adult, um, those small preemie and newborn sizes, those cuffs are really small and it's hard to get them to fit in there. So I'm gonna show you the two ways that I do it using my serger. So the supplies that you're going to need today are just your basic sewing supplies. I'm gonna be sewing um, some pajamas that I'm making for my son. I just have somewhat put on. I have one sleeve put in and one side not done, which I'm about to show you why. And then I have my cuff pieces as well. So this is gonna be a 2T. If you wanna learn how to make these pajamas, I'll put a link down below for the tutorial I did on these jammies. They're super cute and super fun. Um, I make them every year for Christmas and I need to make them for every holiday because I just love them and my kids love homemade pajamas. So let's get started. The first way I like to put the cuff in is to first sew the sleeve in. So here's the front and back of the shirt um, up here. And then I have the sleeve sewn in already, but I don't have the side seams sewn um, on the shirt or on the sleeve. So I'm gonna take my cuff piece and I'm gonna put it wrong sides together. And I'm gonna line it up with the edge of the sleeve, the short edge of the sleeve. And I'm gonna line it up with one edge and pin it. And then I'm gonna stretch it to fit within there. And pin up the opposite edge as well. And now I can take it over to my serger and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna sew that in. So here I am at the Baby Lock Vibrant and I'm gonna take one end, I'm gonna take that pin out and just hold it with my fingers to start and put that right under the presser foot. And again, I'm gonna stretch this cuff to fit into my sleeve. that pin getting stuck. Okay. Here's what it looks like once I have that sewn in and it looks pretty good. So now that that is already sewn in, I'm going to take it and place it right sides together, place the cuff right sides together, pin that so the seam matches up and I'm going to do the same with the sleeve and pin the sleeve so it matches up. And then go all the way down the side of the shirt. Got some extra threads in there. All the way down the side of the shirt, I'm gonna pin that up as well so I can get that ready to sew. So here I have the side seam and the sleeve and the cuff all pinned together and now I'm going to sew that seam with the serger. So I just like to put it under the presser foot and then push it through and sew off. And then once I have that seam sewn, you can just trim your threads and then you're all done and your cuff is put in um, it should be lined up pretty well right there. So you're all set. So that is one way I like to insert my cuffs. 
Um, it's especially helpful when you're doing the smaller sizes, like I said before, the preemie or newborn or really anything smaller than a 2T because that is a very small area to put in. But now I'm gonna show you on the other side how I put that cuff in. The second way that I like to put a cuff in, I've sewn the side seam all the way up through the sleeve. So it's enclosed right now. And now all I have left is to put um, this cuff in and the hem the bottom. So for my cuff, I'm gonna take it and on the shorter side, so mine's not quite as different um, lengthwise to widthwise, but on this shorter side, so my stretch is running on the long side, on the no stretch side, I'm gonna put them right sides together and pin those in place. And then I'm gonna go over to the serger and stitch that down. Here I have it lined up on the serger. And I'll just stitch across this shorter edge. And I can trim that and take it over to my table. Once I have that cuff piece sewn, I'm gonna open it up and fold it so that the wrong sides and that seam that we just sewn are tucked in together. So I'm sandwiching those together. Let's see, here we go. So you can line the seam up right there and line up your raw edges at the top. And I just like to twirl it around and there we go. So you should be able to stretch it. It should stretch. If it doesn't, that means it's sewn the wrong way. And we need it to stretch so that it'll fit over the child's hands and go onto their wrist. So I'm gonna then put this one on and I now have my shirt right sides out. I'm gonna put it right sides together. And remember our cuff, both sides are the right sides. So I'm actually just taking the cuff I'm gonna line up the seams. So right here, this seam, I'm gonna line it up with this seam right here. I'm gonna tuck it inside so that all my raw edges are then lining up right here. And like I said before, this is only a 2T, so it's not even, whoops, it's not even that small. Imagine doing a newborn size this way. But this is a really handy way um, it encases this seam so that there's nothing on the wrist and that is really nice. So now I'm just taking the shirt and kind of spreading it out throughout the cuff. You can pin it and like line it up. So divide it by fourths or half at least. Um, with this size, I don't feel like that's really necessary. And when I go to sew it, I'll show you how I just stretch it as I sew, and that works better. I don't like having the pins in the way. I feel like they're more of a nuisance when trying to sew the cuff, because you are gonna wanna hold it tightly like this to get that sewn correctly. So let's go over to the serger and I'll show you how that's done. So when I go to sew mine, I like to start right where the seam is, just so that gets sewn. Um, correctly and hopefully lines up correctly and then that pin can be out of the way so I'll just start stitching and then once I know it's caught the fabric and is stitched a little bit I readjust a little bit I don't want that shirt sticking out too much that sleeve and then I'm just gonna tighten and adjust as I um, sew so I'll sew a little bit and then readjust line things up again, make sure it's stretching the right amount, and stitch some more, readjust some more, and just continue that all the way around. I don't want that sleeve sticking out too much, so make sure that it's still lining up well with the cuff. Because if it does stick out, we'll probably have um, a little wonkiness, a little extra in the end, which we don't want. Mm -hmm. 
and then once you get back to where you originally started, I just go a little farther and then go off the edge. And then I can trim that. And there we have it. It's kind of stretched out a little bit because I stretch, stretched it so much, but with washing and wear, it should go back to normal. So I got a little off on that, but I'm okay with that. Um, it looks pretty good. So that is the other way I like to do cuffs. And this is a good option for larger sizes. Um, it's not my favorite for anything smaller than a 2T. This is probably the smallest size I would go with this option. And that is the two different ways that I like to sew cuffs. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave them down below. And make sure to subscribe and turn that notifications button on so that you will be notified when I put out new content. If you wanna see more tips and tricks in my everyday sewing life, you can check me out on Instagram at mysobliss. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.